officers for Western Massachusetts. This is Western Mass News. We've now learned six students at Southwick Regional School are being charged in connection with racial bullying investigations with evidence of derogatory comments and an online slave auction targeting black students. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6 on this Thursday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnevale. The Hamden District Attorney today sending a pointed message to the public emphasizing what happened here is unacceptable. Western Mass News reporter Matt Price joins us live in the studio with these latest developments. And Matt, this was quite an emotional day for many, including the DA. That is exactly right, Abby and Chris. Galuni showing a lot of emotion today, expressing his disdain for what happened in Southwick while saying six juveniles at the eighth grade level are facing charges. There is no question that the alleged behavior in this case of these six juveniles is vile, cruel, and contemptible. A forceful Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni on Thursday, sharing his findings of the near month long investigation into alleged racial bullying at Southwick Regional School. Now, six students between the ages of 13 and 14 are facing charges. One of them charged with interference with civil rights, threat to commit a crime, and witness interference. Another charged with interference with civil rights and threat to commit a crime, while four others were charged with threat to commit a crime. Galuni expressing his concern that these students at these young ages were using harmful language against their classmates and engaging in a mock slave auction. Seeing it and facing the reality that these thoughts, that this ugliness can exist within middle school students here in this community in 2024 is discouraging unsettling and deeply frustrating. Western Mass News spoke with Reverend Talbert Swan, the president of the NAACP of Greater Springfield, who filed a complaint with the district attorney's office in February about this alleged behavior. He tells us there should be more education to make sure history does not repeat itself. The prevailing attitude of white supremacy and racism in America has not dissipated. It is not waning. It is not um, fading away, but it is basically being passed down from generation to generation. Galuni emphasized the need to take a proactive approach to teach children about compassion, fairness, and empathy. In response to these findings, he is initiating three steps to confront this problem in order to build stronger communities. First, the DA's Community Safety and Outreach Unit will deliver curriculum around the issue of hate and bullying to the Southwick School community. They'll also work with the Massachusetts Attorney General's Office to create a program to more deeply address the harms of bullying, racism, and bigotry in schools. And he's calling on the state police hate crimes awareness and response team to instruct school personnel and police departments across Western Mass on the best ways to deal with school bullying and hate crimes. The DA stating social media has made the problem of bullying worse and has this message for parents. So my suggestion would be respectfully that parents monitor their kids use of devices. They monitor their use of social media, that parents are aware of the social media platforms that their kids are using, that they have access to what their kids are posting and seeing. And those are difficult conversations. Now we contacted the superintendent's office for the Southwick Tolland Granville Regional School District, as well as two members of the Southwick Regional School Committee, including the chair. So far, we have not yet heard back. As for the students, we're told they have been suspended. Their criminal cases are being handled in juvenile court. Reporting live in the studio, Matt Price, Western Mass News. All right, Matt, thank you for that.